The baseball team clinched the Peach Belt Conference regular season championship a week and a half ago, and joining us today is Garrett Green. Garrett, thank you for coming on the show today. Awesome, man. Glad to be here. So what was it like being able to clinch that top spot so early in the season? It was a great feeling for us. You know, all our hard work for the whole season felt like it kind of paid off winning that big Sunday game in Augusta. Um, Got to give a lot of credit to all the coaches and our players. We worked really hard all year, beginning in the fall, really, from the time we all stepped on campus. Uh, we had one goal in mind, and we knew if we took care of business, we could possibly clinch um, in that Augusta series, possibly even Columbus State the following weekend. But uh, we took care of business in a timely fashion. It was, it was exciting. Now, I know you've been here for three years. What makes this team different and so special compared to teams in the past couple of years? Man, we've had some incredible teams over the years. I've been blessed enough to be a part of all those special teams. This year, we've, we've got a, a, a group of a bunch of different people, um, experienced players, freshmen, transfers. Uh, there have been a lot of different programs around the country. Um, and we kind of just put all that together into one. Um, our coaching staff's done an excellent job of kind of knowing our personnel and bringing everybody together. But since the fall, we've just meshed as a team. You know, family, the word family is not just a word we toss around lightly in our culture of our program. We spend a great deal of time together. We all, you know, go out to dinner together, eat together, do things together. And that's, that's that trust part of the game um, is huge for us. And uh, we've really come together as a team, and, and it's shown. And speaking of a successful year, I mean, you're hitting 408 right now. What's really clicked for you this year? I got to probably start off with uh, my summer. I, I, uh, I, I decided, uh, me and the coaches sat down after last season and decided that working out full time over the summer was probably the best option for me. Needed to get a little bit stronger, a little bit faster, a little bit better overall at my game. So I spent the summer really working hard in the weight room. And I feel like I'm a, a little bit more stronger this year. I kind of, with that experience, I know kind of how other teams are going to pitch me this year. Um, just being in the league helps you, obviously, year by year. Um, but really just the confidence, not trying to do too much, knowing who I am. We've got an incredible order, uh, one through nine. Me hitting normally, you know, sixth, seventh, or eighth, or even ninth. I've got tons of good hitters in front of me and tons of great hitters behind me. So just knowing my role, um, trusting that the guys behind me are going to drive me in. To, so, you know, for me, I just try to get on base and, and uh, let the team roll and keep doing this thing. Now walk me through when... You're getting in the box. Where do you like to stand in the box first? For me, uh, I know a lot of guys love to stand. I don't know if the camera can see it. Um, it. You know, if this was a plate, a lot of guys love to stand in the back of the box. For me personally, I'm a big middle of the box guy. I kind of like my, you know, my, my midsection, my, my belly button to be kind of right over the middle of the plate. Um, that's just for me kind of where I feel comfortable in the box. But, you know, as far as pre-pitch things, you know, I just I stand in the box. I like to tap the plate, tap the the back and then the front and then I like to give a, a pre-pitch prep you know kind of one or two just depending on how fast the pitcher works up the middle because my approach is middle everything I'm trying to do is stay on time to hit the ball to the big parts of the field you know we have two big Kurtz and Reiner Hall of Famer signs on our light poles so I, I try to keep my approach in the middle of the field and hope I'm on time and that's the goal is to, to get in there and get on time and you know get on base. Now I know each pitcher is different do you look for a particular thing from each pitcher to you know to get your timing down I do you know I hitting at the bottom of the order a lot helps with that I get to study the pitcher for the first you know six or seven batters most of the time you know so I, I'll sit in the dugout the first inning study what he does does he work fast is his arm angle different you know is he lefty or righty just certain cues that I can pick up on that will help my timing um, but that that's really it just trying to study the game best I can before I get in the box to best prepare myself and as far as your preparation you know, during the week, before a game, what are some drills that you like to go through to get yourself prepared? Preparation is a huge key for really our whole team, and I got to credit a lot of our success as a team to preparation because we just pride ourselves on preparing the right way, not taking pitches off, whether that's in practice, the game, at school, you know, just doing everything you can to just be, you know, ready for the day, um, which is really credit us. But for me personally, um, I'm a big stretch guy. I love to get out of the field early, stretch, do a lot of stretching. My body's tight. Um, I do a lot of stretching. Um, it's really just, I don't know, I just, um, what works for that day, what I need for that day, I like to get a good pregame meal in and just um, get out there. I have, I'm a little bit superstitious, you know, a lot of baseball players are, but I, uh, I don't know, just whatever I feel like I need for that day, I'll get out and do. Awesome. Well, Garrett, thank you so much for joining oh, thank us you all. today. Thank you all for having me on the show. I appreciate it.
And that's all for sports for the spring semester. Steven and I have really enjoyed our time as sports anchors, um, but make sure to catch GC360 next semester for all of your local sports news. Up next, the entertainment segment with Harley and Jai. And later, Adrian will give us the details about a monthly event designed to share important skills. Thank you. Mm -hmm.